was one of the founders of the Kenya African Union, KAU, the first nationwide African organization to fight for Kenya's independence from British colonial rule. Joseph Daniel Otiende was born in 1917 at Kegoya village of Vihiga location, Kakamega district, and was educated at Kagoye Primary School and Butere Boarding Vocational School before joining Maseno School in 1926. He left Maseno in 1929 and the following year was admitted to Alliance High School at Kikuyu, then the leading boarding secondary school for Africans. From Alliance, Otiende went to Makere College, Kampala, Uganda, then the only institution of higher learning in East Africa, where he obtained a diploma in education in 1937. He later taught for two years at Kaimosi Mission School in Western Province, before being posted to Alliance, where he would teach for eight years. Among his students at Alliance were future cabinet ministers, Jeremiah Nyaga, Julius Kiano, Paul Ngei, Munyua Wayaki, Njoroge Mungai, and Dawson Mwanyumba. Otiende was still a teacher at Alliance when he first got involved in politics. In 1945, he became the Nyanza chairman of the Kenya African Union, the only national political party that was fighting for African rights. He would later rise to be the party's vice president. From Alliance, Otiende was posted to Jean School Kabete, present-day Kenya Institute of Administration, in 1948, where he taught for a while before joining the African Council of North Nyanza as an assistant clerk. When on October 20th, 1952, the colonial governor Sir Evelyn Baring declared a state of emergency throughout Kenya in an attempt to contain the Mau Mau armed rebellion, many Kao leaders, including the party's president Jomo Kenyatta, were arrested, later tried and jailed for their part in the Mau Mau rebellion. Otiende was placed under house arrest for a while on suspicion that he was a Mau Mau sympathizer. Britain would not allow meaningful African political activity again until 1956, when for the first time, Africans were allowed to vie for seats in Kenya's hitherto white settler-dominated Legislative Council, or LegCo. Otiende vied for the Nyanza North constituency in the elections that were held in March the following year, but lost to Masinde Muliro. Otiende would join the newly formed Kenya African National Union, KANU, at its inception in March 1960, becoming one of very few Luya leaders to do so. On being released from detention, in 1961, Kenyatta would take over the leadership of KANU. That year, as a KANU candidate, Otiende got elected to the East African Legislative Council of the East African Services Organization, the precursor to the East African community. He was appointed chairman of the Social and Research Sciences Department, becoming, in effect, the East African Minister for Education, Health and Agriculture. He would later be transferred to be chairman of the Transport and Communications Sector of the EACSO. In the last pre-independence general election held in May 1963, running on a Kanu ticket for the House of Representatives, Otiende was elected in Vihiga constituency, garnering 12,362 votes, compared to his nearest rival, the trade unionist Peter Kibisu, who ran as an independent and managed to get 5,809 votes. Kanu itself scored a resounding victory, winning 83 of the 124 seats in the House of Representatives. On May 28th, Kenyatta was invited to form a government. On June 1st, he became the first Prime Minister of Kenya. Kenyatta appointed Otiende, Minister for Education and Culture, the only Luya in the cabinet of 15 ministers that took Kenya to independence on December 12th, 1963 and Otiende would have a dual role as minister in the new Kenya government as well as minister in the East African Common Services Organization.